The new lawyer for Sarah Boone, the alleged suitcase killer, is speaking out. You want to hear what he says. Let's discuss. I'm Dave Ehrenberg, state attorney for Palm Beach County, a.k.a. the Florida lawman here on True Crime MTN. And a lot of us were surprised that Sarah Boone, the woman in Florida, Orlando, well, Florida woman, who is being charged with murder for zippering up her boyfriend in a suitcase and leaving him there to die while she taunted him as he pled for his life, that she has found a ninth lawyer because her previous lawyers have bailed on her. She had seven court-appointed lawyers, one lawyer that she chose at the beginning, and they all left her for various reasons. Some of them said irreconcilable differences. After all, she seems to be kind of a difficult individual, someone who wanted to push her innocence, and she recorded her own alleged crime. I mean, on her phone, she was recording the image of her boyfriend pleading for his life in a suitcase while she taunted him. Now, they were both drunk. At the time, she later claims that she's the victim of domestic abuse, and so, you know, you expect to see all these elements that come into her trial, but The judge in this case said, you don't get a ninth lawyer. We're not appointing you any more lawyers. Uh, You have driven away all these other lawyers. It's going to trial on October 7th, and that's it. Now, it didn't mean she couldn't find a lawyer on her own. So what she did was she created this one ad where she, in great calligraphy, wrote about what she's looking for in a lawyer, Uh, a one ad, and apparently worked because Mr. James Owens, of Milton, Florida. It's, just out, it's outside of Pensacola. It's up in the Panhandle. It is far away from Orlando. You got to really fly. It's, it's a hard drive if you did it. Uh, it's, he is stepping up and he is becoming her ninth lawyer. And the judge in the case said, okay, you can be her lawyer. You're not court appointed. She's hiring you herself, even though she is indigent, but okay. And as far as an extension, no. You're not getting it because no means no. I said no extension. You knew about the deadline when you signed on for this. So even though you just came in, you have all these uh, new areas to pursue, new evidence that you're finding supposedly of spousal abuse, it's going to trial October 7th. So be ready. Now the lawyer, James Owens, is speaking out. He spoke out on Court TV on Closing Argument. That's Vinnie Politan's show. And it was quite insightful. Here are the top seven points from the interview. Number one, the lawyer learned about Sarah Boone's case on TV. He's a true crime fan himself. And he found out about her need for a ninth lawyer through the same show he was just on, the Vinnie Politan show, Closing Argument. He was watching it, saw that she put out a one ad, And that's why he decided to answer the call. Number two, he waited initially for a local lawyer in the Orlando area to step up because, as I said, Pensacola slash Milton is is far away. It's a it's a it's a it's a flight, not a drive. And he is not a local lawyer. He is several hours away. And so he anticipated someone locally would step up but no one did. And so after a few weeks, he decided to do it himself. Number three, he's doing this because he believes in fair play and a system where everyone has access to a lawyer, especially if you're a defendant in a murder case. And this is a murder case. So Mr. Owens is thinking that yeah, this is not right, how someone who is facing life in prison is not going to have a lawyer representing her, even though she wants one. So that was his thinking. And he is someone with a apparent good reputation, someone who's well-respected, been around a while, and he decided to essentially shut down his practice to take this client on. Because this is a time-consuming case. you got to get up to speed really quickly. So he is putting other cases on hold and is going to do this. Number four, there were trust issues. He said that Sarah Boone had difficulty trusting him at the beginning, and he felt the same way towards her. Well, okay, uh, I'm not surprised that that exists, especially when you have... a a defendant in Sarah Boone who has been fired by eight other lawyers. Maybe the problem is her. Maybe just just, just maybe that her trust issues result in her own behavior and maybe she should be looking in the mirror to see who's causing these problems. 
At least the judge thinks so. The judge told Sarah Boonick in denying the extension, in denying the additional time that the lawyer sought, that she is the problem, that she's the reason why they're in this predicament. He also said that it seems like they get along well now, but you know, they're, it's early in their professional relationship. We'll see if that lasts. Number five, he said he was not planning on representing her until she called him. So after he reached out to her, he sent her a letter uh, after seeing her ad, and it was given to her, and through a third party, she reached out to him. They met, and then he said he wasn't committing to representing her. He went back to Milton. Then Sarah Boone called him, and it was that conversation that, I guess, convinced him to sign on to this case. So this was not an immediate decision where he just said, all right, I'm responding to the want ad. Let's do it. This was a bit of a courtship where Sarah Boone finally realized this is it. It's either Mr. Owens or no one at all. Number six, he says he's not doing this pro bono. He says he still expects Sarah Boone to pay him one day, perhaps. He says that he has this relationship, this uh, arrangement with other clients where they pay him sometimes 50 bucks a month. He thinks it's important for self-reliance that all the clients actually pay something. After all, it's an expense for him. And so he's going to anticipate that he will get paid. I don't know if that's realistic. She's facing the rest of her life behind bars. And even if she gets out one day, I mean, how is she going to afford to pay him? She's been ruled as indigent. And so I don't know how he's ever going to get paid back. Perhaps in lieu of any payment, he'll get the free publicity that he will get in this case. He's already doing national interviews. Maybe that could help him generate additional business. But it looks like this is going to be a lost leader for him. And number seven, Mr. Owens was surprised that the judge in this case denied his request for a continuance. He asked the court for a two to three month delay. Now, that was a big ask because the judge in this case, who seemed to be really perturbed with Sarah Boone, had, had enough of her, said that, you know, you can't just keep having issues with your lawyers and go on and on and on forever. I mean, really, the Sixth Amendment is not absolute. You don't get to just you know, have a divorce with your lawyer until the case is never heard. You don't get infinite numbers of delays. At some point, the public, victims' families have an interest and a right to hear this case. Eventually, you don't have a right to unlimited delays, and that's where the judge said he's putting his foot down. After the eighth lawyer bailed, he's like, no more. No more, you're representing yourself, or you can find your own lawyer. Well, she found her own lawyer, and this lawyer said, okay, can you reassess that whole October 7th thing? Can you at least uh, give me two to three more months because I've got to pursue these leads, I've got to talk to investigators, there's all these things I need to do, and the judge said, no. You knew what you're getting into when you signed on. I said October 7th, and October 7th it is. Here's the thing. As a prosecutor, you don't want to risk having a conviction overturned on appeal because of a Sixth Amendment violation, right to a, a fair trial, right to a counsel. And that's a concern here. If he, she is convicted, and I think she will be convicted. Now, maybe of a lesser charge, manslaughter, but she's not walking away here a free woman. She's going to be convicted. And then it goes on appeal. And she may have a good claim to say that the judge didn't even allow my lawyer, who in good faith was trying to represent me, didn't even allow him to have the extra two months at minimum that he needed. And so we're forced to go right away. And it was just impossible. Well, that is an argument that could appeal to the appellate courts. And yeah, we'll see if this could put a future conviction in jeopardy. I would have, uh, as a prosecutor, probably uh, been okay not totally objected to a little, uh, at least a small delay because I'd be worried that we'd have to come back to court and do it all over again if this thing gets overturned. So we'll see what happens from here. This case is heading to a trial October 7th, and apparently with the new lawyer, if she can keep him, James Owens. So that's the latest in the case of Sarah Boone, the alleged suitcase killer. If you like this video, Please like it, subscribe, leave a comment below, and share with a friend. We appreciate all your support. We're over 55,000 subscribers. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.